may have realized the redesign of the studio. Let's go In learn more show, with you. We have a story on SVTV the redesign. goal is to modernize Mario Kart. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, I'm Killian. I'm Haley, and you're watching SVTV. You may have seen our new broadcast room. We have a few new aspects. Let's see what has changed. You may have realized the redesign of the studio. Let's go learn more with DeLeonardo. The goal is to modernize our look. And one of the issues, we have a couple issues with the room. Uh, one, it's small. And then two, the, heel, the ceiling's not high enough for lighting, and so we wanted to try to maximize our space and be able to light the set from be behind. Our set was really um, dark, and so we wanted to try to come up with something that looks a little bit modern, a little bit more contemporary, and goes along with what you're seeing for the professionals. And so with that, by changing the colors and doing some textures and things like that, it'll look better as we, on the back end of the store of a newscast. So the background will look more impressive and hopefully high interest to the viewers. I've been in the program for, well, this is my fourth year now. And it's really nice to see change in the studio back in the, f right before last year ended, D was talking about how he might change it. But I was actually really surprised that he actually went for it and actually decided to change all this as soon as he did, because he was talking about maybe in the years to come. But I really like the change, um, and I'm real excited for the new change. Um, the goal is to get done by October, and so students are like, they think in the beginning of October, but in my mind, probably the end of October is where we'll probably see it done. I would assume the construction will probably be done probably beginning of October. But as far as lighting and things go, that stuff's probably going to be the end of October. Stop by the studio to see the progress over the year. Make sure you come down and check it out. Now for your daily announcement. For those of you interested in college, here are a couple of announcements. There's a FAFSA workshop on October 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Washburn University. They're having an ACT prep class. If you need to boost your score, make sure you attend. Registration and payment are due by October 18th. Mario Kart has recently came out on mobile apps. Let's go see what people think about it. Mario Kart Tour dropped on September 25th and it has swept the attention from thousands of teens all across the nation. The game has a 4.8 star average and is number one in racing in the Apple App Store. We asked some students at Seaman for their opinion on the game. I like Mario Kart Tour because it's fun and I played it as a kid and it just brings back a lot of memories and it's fun to just get a high score and beat your, beat your friends, you know. I really like Mario Kart Tour because it's fun and you can compete with your friends. I think teens like Mario Kart Tour so much because we grew up in Mario Kart and so a lot of people are playing it. Mario Kart Tour had 90 million downloads a week after it released. The game offers a gold pass or a monthly subscription for $4.99 to help you unlock more characters. Some Mario Kart gamers have their own favorite characters. Definitely Bowser. Bowser has always been my favorite. but. Yeah, he's just, I play with him all the time. Definitely Bowser. Mario Kart Tour can be addicting. I play it all the time in class. Mario Kart Tour is the app of the moment right now. Who knows what will be the next one, but teens enjoy reliving their childhoods playing Mario Kart. <laughs> I've never played Mario Kart before. Maybe I'll have to go check it out. Now over to sports to find out how our boys cross country team did. The girls golf team won regionals yesterday and the boys cross country team placed second at City. Good job, Vikes. Today is the deadline to submit your payment and permission slip to the athletic department in order to get on the spirit bus to Junction City. Now over to Haley with the weather to see if we'll get another cold weekend. Currently it is 56 degrees outside. Tonight it should drop into the 50s. 
Over the next three days, Wednesday it is cloudy and 59, Thursday it is sunny and 70, and Friday it is 74 and cloudy. Going for another cold weekend. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Hope you had a great three-day weekend. Have a great day. <laughs>